Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about Mama Pat's new launch, Mothership 8 Divine Rose 2 palette and you know, lip kits. So I just got everything in the mail and I am so excited to play with these bad boys. Now in this collection, she launched the Divine Rose 2 palette and how beautiful it is. She also launched two lip kits, which includes a lip liner, a lip gloss, and a lipstick. In this video, we are going to talk in depth about the eyeshadow palette, the lip kits, uh, you know, the swatches, comparison about this eye look, and at last, my final thoughts. And if this is something interests you, then please keep watching. Now let's address the elephant in the room before we start reviewing this product. I ordered this uh, eyeshadow palette on 29th of May as soon as it was launched and I, I think I was there for two to three minutes and my checkout was done. Uh, I ordered you know so fast only because of this rose gold glass packaging. I want to have the special limited edition packaging and everything was fine. Uh, I got the order notification email with the order number, but two weeks down the line, I received an email from Pat McGrath saying that they have trouble, you know, uh, getting my lip kits, which is the Divine Rose lip kit, and that my order will be shipped uh, at later point of time. I went to the website and saw that this lip kit was still available. It was not sold out. So I was like, okay, you know, what's going on? And I, I, I just leave with it. After another week, when I still was not getting any, you know, shipping confirmation, I reached out to the customer care and they were like, oh, we are looking into this. And the next thing I know, everything was shipped. So long story short, I received this product one month after I placed my order. I placed it on 29th and I have received it on 24th of June. Yes, and that's why, you know, my review is going so late. So yeah, so I just want to address that and get things out of the way. And by now, most of you know that Divine Rose 2 is the sister of Divine Rose 1. And this is how the packaging looks like side by side. How pretty the arts are. I love, love, love Pat Magritte's art on the eyeshadow packaging. I always try to throw them, but for Pat Magritte's packaging, I keep them. And as I mentioned, I bought the limited packaging and this is how it looks like. And you can see my camera over there, but yes, this is how it looks like. And this is how it looks inside. You can buy this eyeshadow palette in Pat McGrath's website and also in Sephora. This is made in Italy. Uh, the price is $125 and the ounce is 0.47 ounce each eyeshadow. Now let's talk about how Divine Rose 1 and Divine Rose 2 looks like. Uh, this is how Divine Rose 1 looks. And if you see, these are like a everyday wearable mauve shade. Whereas Divine Rose 2 looks like this, which is much more peachy, pinky. The shades have so much depth in the color. Uh, and this is how they look side by side. Oops, here you go. These palettes are heavy. So yeah, that's, that's how both of the palettes look side by side. Now let's go ahead and see the swatches of Divine Rose 2 palette. From left to right, Skin Show Rose Opal, Naked Blush, Eleganza, Bronze Rose, Gold Lust, Extreme Burgundy, Divine Dusk, Rose Seduction, Texas Terrestrial Astral Pink Moon. Now let's talk about the two lip kits she have in this collection. None of the lip liner, lip gloss, or the lipsticks is new in this collection. She already have them in her regular makeup line. I got the lip liner is Suburia. The lip gloss is in Divine Rose and the lipstick is Softcore. Now let's quickly swatch them and see how they look. So this is the lip gloss Divine Rose. This is 
the lipstick soft core and this is the lip liner subria moving on to how i created this eye look let's go to the demo portion of this video so i'm taking the first color this one And as I'm blending, I am bringing it to the inner corner and I'm blowing it out in my crease to just to diffuse the shade. Blowing out in the outer V. So the next shade which I'm going to take is this shade over here. And again, I'm going to put it on my outer V to bring that depth. And these shades are highly pigmented. So be careful when you are tapping your brush on the eyeshadow. And as you can see, I'm just trying to build a shade on my outer V and just trying to give a dimension over here. I'm going to use the same shade and I'm going to bring it in my inner corner. So I just create a hollow effect with both this shade and I'm trying to blend both the shades seamlessly so that there is no harsh line whatsoever. The next shade which I'm going to use is this the gold shade over here and I'm going to use my finger to apply this shade. Now I'm blending both the shades so that there is no harsh line and it blends seamlessly with one another. The next shade I'm going to use for my Bravo highlighting is this one. And I'm going to use this shade over here for my inner corner. For my lower lash line, I'm going to use this shade and this shade. And I'm going to, you know, blend both the shade together. So first going with this one. A dark shade on the outer portion of my eye and then the light shade towards the inner corner of my eye and then blend both of them together for my blush today I'm going to use this shade the naked blush and I'm going to use Wayne Goss artist large brush And such a pretty blush. It's like the perfect peachy uh, pinky blush you can get. For the lips, I'm using the lip pencil, which is Suburbia. Hopefully, I'm not butchering the name. For the lipstick, I am using soft core. And lastly, I'm going to use the Divine Rose lip gloss. And that's it. That's how the complete look looks like. All right. Now let's talk about my feelings about this palette. I think this palette is beautiful and Mama Pat has really done an amazing job in creating this palette. As usual, her eyeshadows is highly pigmented. The mattes really worked well. I used both the mattes in this palette 
this one the naked blush to do my you know entire crease and then this one i forget the name of this one but this is the darkest shade in the palette on both the inner and outer corner of my eyes to give a hollow effect and they blend it perfectly seamlessly now talking about this four shade in this corner like i love to call them a special uh, shades in pat mcgrath's palette and if you have her other palettes you know always this four shade will be different they are glittery they have a different textures but they are so nice when they're applied with finger on your uh, you know eyelid now talking about this shade which is this gold i really really love this shade i don't think i have anything like that pure kind of gold in my collection i was trying to compare this with the natasha denona gold palette but i don't think i have seen this kind of shade in her that palette now this is a shade which she has already done i think in 2015 in one of the eye kit uh, if you have that eye kit this will be a repeat shade for you i don't have that shade uh, so i think uh, you know it's good for me now talking about this shade this is a shade which she has drawn for the very first time and she is calling it trichrome where you have a shift of three colors and let me swatch and show you guys how it looks this is a very pretty shade now this looks so much of pinky if i try to move my hand it is like a bronzy and if i move more you can see it's green so there is a shift of color happening and you know this is a pretty pretty unique color in her line for the very first time now i have seen this kind of shade in you know indie brands but i have not seen in uh, you know high-end brands now talking about this shade which is uh, rose seduction if i'm not wrong this shade is have a warning saying that this is not safe for eye but i have used it and you know it just stain a little bit but it's okay talking about the large shade in this palette this one if I think this is less messy and this is much more like a golden shade and if I swatch the last shade from Divine Rose 1 which is this one it is little bit messy and if I swatch them side by side you can see from Divine Rose 1 sorry 2 this is how it's much more towards golden and warm and this one which is from divine rose one it is much more like a silvery kind of color and this is much more smooth than this one this is a little bit messy when i i apply it so i think on the formulation wise she has improved the formula of this shade from divine rose one to divine rose two i have also used this shade's naked blush as my blush today and this is a nice nice blush color I think overall if I see uh, to this palette I feel the color scheme is good the mattes really really worked great on my eyes I think both divine one and divine two complement each other for divine one it is much more like a everyday mauve shade you go for work you you know just go for a lunch that's the palette you want to grab and do a eye look but divine rose too it's much more having depth in the color the day you want to step up a little bit want to have a little bit of bold eye i think you will be going and grabbing divine rose too now talking about the lip products in this collection as they are nothing new to this launch and if you have already used her lipsticks lip liner and lip glosses you know how they are but i love you know pat mcgrath's lip glosses they are one of my favorite lip glosses i also love their lip liner coming to the lipstick i love the Lux terence lipsticks more than the matte formulation of her uh, lipstick line and that's my preference you know uh, but i know people also love you know the, her matte formulation but the combination of this three and if you are of my skin tone i think this is a great lip combo and yeah that's all i have to say about this palette and the collection from her line i love the bronze seduction palette that's one of my favorite and i think this is a unique palette she has created and this will also become my favorite palette so yes, if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and I will see you in my next video. 
till then bye